Hey guys, how's it going? Back again with another video. So I know a lot of people have been commenting and messaging me here on YouTube, and unfortunately I haven't been able to get back to you. I promise I have read all of the comments. I've just been really busy the last couple of weeks. Uh, I had my father's wedding along with my cousin's wedding, which I had to fly down to Washington for. So I've been busy doing that, but I promise I will write all of you back as soon as I get a second to do so. Um, but in today's video, I wanted to talk about is nursing worth it? Uh, is going to nursing school worth it? I've been getting this question a lot lately and um, in different forms. A lot of people are wanting to know if the work-life balance is worth it. Uh, sorry, I wrote some of them down here so I wouldn't forget. If the stress level is worth it, if the compensation is worth it, and is the job satisfaction worth it? Uh, this is a great topic and I think it's really important to talk about because a lot of people are beginning to go into nursing school or at least endeavoring on applying to nursing school. So uh, I thought I'd make a video and give you my opinions on whether or not nursing school is worth it. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, work-life balance, is it worth it? I work three days a week, I work three 12-hour shifts. Mainly my shifts tend to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again, this could change depending on whether or not I'm going on vacation or I'm taking a trip and I switch my days around a little bit. But for the most part, I'd say 80 to 95% of the time, 80 to 95 percent I'd say 90 to 95 percent of the time I work Friday Saturday Sunday from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. 12 hour shift so I work 36 hours a week uh, at least my facility that hired me if I if you work Friday Saturday Sunday or I think it's Thursday Friday Saturday one of those combinations they pay you a weekend bonus which means I only work 36 hours but they pay me for 40 so that's pretty neat uh, you also get paid more for working night shift and you get paid more for working weekends as well. So those are all bonuses that I am reaping the benefits of. So is the work-life balance worth it? Absolutely, I have four days off a week. I work three days a week, I'm off the other four. And I just noticed this is the shirt that has a rip in it. Oh, don't mind that. So I'd say the work-life balance is definitely worth it. Um, it changes depending on how many years you have with the company, but as of right now, I think as when you're a new grad, you start off with minimum, I think two weeks paid time off. I think I have two weeks paid time off, but I haven't used any of that. And the reason I haven't used any of that is because the flexibility of working in the ER at least and working with my management at least, uh, I haven't been able to, or I haven't been uh, forced to use those, so to speak, even though I've gone on vacation. So I left the Washington for a few days for that wedding. And what I did was I worked five, six days straight. If you work six days straight, we only work three days a week, so you're technically working two weeks straight. So you're gonna get eight days off. Therefore, you don't use your paid time off. Does it suck working five, six days straight? Yes, any time after three days, I'm exhausted. Four days, ooh, five days, I'm dead. Six days, I don't even know how I'm gonna survive that shift. So, but the point is, is that there's all this flexibility you have with working and having time off and, and going on vacations and things like that. So I'm absolutely loving it. And I do believe, in my opinion, that going into nursing school, the work-life balance is without a doubt worth it. All right, next up is stress level. Is the stress level worth it? So I work in the ER and um, I've definitely been stressed plenty of shifts. And I think this is partly due to the fact that I'm new. So there's a lot of things that I still don't know and I'm having, that real, I'm having to have a lot of help when I'm actually working. I don't know if you know some people that I work with don't like me because I'm requiring so much help, but there's a lot of things that I don't know, which is stressful because you wanna do a good job. I wanna do a good job and you know, you always want everyone else to like you and you don't want to be slow. You don't want the docs to not like you and all this stuff. That's a lot of stress in and of itself. And then I'm sure even if you're experienced working in the ER, it's stressful. You're dealing with people and it doesn't even matter what department, to be honest. ICU, med surge, doesn't matter. We're dealing with people, right? We're not dealing with a product. So these people have the tendency to die if you mess up. So that's stressful, okay? Make sure, making sure you're dealing with the right patients, making sure you're not violating HIPAA. There's so many ways that you can violate HIPAA um, unintentionally, you know, making a mistake, giving a patient someone else's discharge, giving a patient another patient's discharge paperwork. That's violating HIPAA. And I've noticed that that can happen very easily. You know, so making, making sure that you're checking all the names, making sure that you're giving the right medications to the right patients, making sure you're giving the correct dose of medication to that patient, all these different things that you're really stressed about throughout your shift. So yes, nursing is stressful, but what job that is important isn't stressful, okay? If you're doing anything positive in life, if you're being productive in life, if you're not living in the basement of your mom's house, doing absolutely nothing but partying all the time, you're probably stressed. So I don't see nursing being stressful to the point where I would deter someone from majoring in it in college or deter someone from going into the field of nursing. So stress level, it's gonna be there, but what job is not stressful, that's important. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. 
compensation, is it worth it? So I know a lot of people talk about nursing pay and uh, is it a lucrative career? That's a very subjective term because for me, I really haven't had a job that pays like this ever. So to me, I get paid decent. And in my opinion, I believe it's a fairly lucrative uh, career path. It's not something that's going to make you wealthy, but it is something that's going to pay my bills, not allow me to live paycheck to paycheck. Well, that just depends on your spending habits. Uh, put me in a nice house, a decent house, decent car in the driveway. So I'm enjoying it, uh, especially for 23 years old. There's not a lot of people that make the annual income that I do. So I am very blessed about that. So is compensation worth it? That is all depending on what your definition of enough is. Okay, if you have a definition of enough at $10,000 a year, then that job is amazing to you, you know, whatever it is. So compensation all depends on your definition of what's enough. Also, the area you live in, certain areas in the country pay better than others. Certain areas in the country are also more expensive than others. So I believe Nevada is the highest paid state for nurses when you take into consideration the cost of living. California, without a doubt, is number one. If you're just talking about pay, then it's Hawaii, and then I believe maybe Oregon, and then Nevada is right around there. They're top five. So, but if you take into consideration Hawaii's cost of living, California's cost of living, Nevada pays the most. So, that's a good thing that I live here in Las Vegas. So, if you guys want to come work here, it's an amazing place to work, pays well, and the cost of living is low so far. The Raiders are coming here, so that might change. Um, you already know the Golden Knights are doing very well, so that's probably going to increase the cost of living too. All these things, I believe we're getting an NBA team eventually, so all that's eventually going to raise the cost of living, but can't do anything about that. So next one is job satisfaction. Is it worth it? My job is extremely satisfying, and uh, I feel as if I make a difference going to work every day. I interact with people. I see them at their worst point in their life. No one plans on going to the hospital unless it's the labor and delivery unit, right? And, uh, you know, I try to crack jokes with people when I can. I try to mess around with them when I can. I try to have a good time when I'm at work. And uh, I do feel like my job is satisfying. And I enjoy going to work. There's days where I'm a little nervous to go to work just because, again, I'm new and I don't know much and I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want to ever be that guy. I don't think anyone ever wants to be that guy or girl. But uh, for the most part, guys, I absolutely love my job. And it's exciting and I have really good coworkers. Uh, everyone is helpful. I'm learning so much from the docs, the other nurses. Uh, I'm learning new things every single day. And that's something that I believe makes your job interesting because you don't get complacent. You don't feel as if you know everything because every day something else comes in through that door that you've never seen before. And that's what makes healthcare such an amazing field is that it humbles you because the people who are coming in, you're subjective to the same illness as they are. Uh, so nursing, definitely worth it guys in my opinion uh, if you want to go into nursing school I'd say do it go for it it's a job that's going to give you um, a great work-life balance it's a job that's going to pay you a decent salary it's a job that's going to allow you to have extreme job satisfaction and it's a job that's going to have a stress level that's present but one that is without a doubt doable and one that makes going through school still worth it if you compare it to any other job in my opinion so if you're definitely thinking about going into nursing school, I would recommend going into nursing school. If you have any other questions, please email me. My email is going to be at the bottom of this video. Follow me on Instagram. You guys can direct message me on Instagram as well. And comment in the comment section. I normally get back to everybody. So except for those people these last couple of weeks. And I'll get back to you here in a second. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. And I will see you in the next one.